Well, today's morning of the 7th. We're uh, up 17 degrees, warmed up to a whopping 19. Pulling up my first set here, and I see a coyote bouncing. So, uh, shamefully, I'll admit, this trap was uncovered last time. I was in a hurry. I jumped out, and I don't remember if I just put dirt on it, brushed some on with the foot. Didn't do a very good job. I didn't re-lure it. But it does pay to keep stuff working because without doing that, I probably had no chance whatsoever with doing it. Got first coyote of the morning. Also, for those of you who keep asking, this here is number 100. So that's a number I like to hit every year. Usually I hit it in the January, February sometime. I trap late when they're not all that great just so I can hit that number. Oh, here we go. See you guys down so the corner right back there. So we just come from with that coyote. And we got one here. Looks like a semi-heavy. Good catch, no mange, so we'll take it. This trap right here has been messed with every single time I've been here. This is the first time it's not been messed with. Bait's still in the hole, grass wad in there, so. We got one trap down there, I'll have to walk and check. Can't see it from here. But two, that's good at this place. Today's still the uh, seventh, I believe, every day. Um, I'm gonna have to take back some of the bad things I said about the dog poofs. This is where we had the double, the dead coon last time. That one's very much alive. We had a lot of extra tracks along that log and this crossing log. And uh, we got a double again today. So, we don't have many coon here. I catch, I don't know, 18, 20 coon a year. So, two, du two doubles, two checks in a row is unusual. Using that, using that coon, uh, I think crunch, or coon crush, I don't know. Bought it privately, nobody stocks it, but he was using it, worked good, and I'd say it's working good. So, see you guys down the line. Okay, I don't know how well this is showing up here. There's a colony trap there. This is just grassy debris, and of course I got debris over there. And I kind of use this rock to make it out in the water. I kind of use that on that side. Help stabilize the colony and keep it tight here. I thought maybe the rats would just be swimming along this edge. And it kind of appears like at least one was. So a nice big rat too. So we'll get it out of there and uh, put this back. See if we can get lucky again. See you guys down the line. Now it took me a month to catch this border. The sign was good here. I thought we were gonna have, oh, he's got the trap all wrapped up around the T-bone, that's interesting. I thought we were gonna have multiple coyotes here. And I guess just one, because I'm pulling this upper line, just not producing, and uh, worried about snow shutting me down, can't get up here with my car, so. All right, see you guys down the line. Well, today's the eighth. Not anticipating a very good catch today. Uh, way behind on lure and pulled some traps last time. Just falling behind on the trapping, but uh, this is a real pretty coyote, so glad to have it. This one, I think this is the third or fourth coyote in this trap right here. And I've got one right up that way and one over here to my right. Two to my right. So I think it's six, seven at this location. All right, guys, see you online. Well, it's one in the one in the morning, so I guess it's technically the ninth now. But we're out checking. This is a second uh, coyote catch here. I don't know if you can see this huge catch circle. Got it by the hind foot. Second coyote catch here in the remake. It's third coyote total. So uh, I'm just happy to have caught him. We'll get him dispatched and uh, move on down the line. Well, this trap sat here a while. Uh, pleasant surprise. Got a fox in it. So, um, did take care of it. See you down the line. Well, it's still the ninth. I don't advise, but I drove the truck right down there. I've got a trap right here that I had to come up and check. I just couldn't tell if there's anything in it or not. So, uh, so I thought being I'm hiking up here, I used the trees as cover. I sat down right just right over there in those right on the edge and I was gonna call just for five ten minutes 
and oh, using one of Boddicker's critter calls here. Coyote come trotting, come right through there, come along, kind of paralleled. He must have been hitting this trail because here he comes straight at me. So I took, went ahead and took the shot while he's running. Oh, well, that's a lot worse than I'd like to see. Boy, that'll be a so job. Might almost be starting to develop mange too. I don't know. Anyways, here's one of my trap wise coyotes. I got tracks all over here. Um, there's nothing producing in the traps. But there's one more down. See you guys down the line. Well, today is the 10th December. This is that T-bone set I showed how to make. Been fired off for a while. I've just been too busy, too lazy to come over here and pull it. Obviously, did not catch anything. Put a bunch of cows in here. And uh, pulling traps today. This might be my last video this year. Or right, we'll see. But work may send me away for a while. So pulling the line today. Always a sad day. All right, we'll see you guys down the line. Well, it's official. I'm uh, headed down to Texas for work. Got to pull everything. So we're on a pulling mission today. And, uh, we're glad to see this. It's the first trap we go to pull over here. So got the other line, other side of the mountain poles. So pulling everything. Today's the, what's today's date? 12th. All right, see you guys down the line. That's my coyote trap. The second coon in it, no coyotes. That's the second coyote in that trap. Right past there is my dog proof. It's got absolutely nothing. I like the dog proofs, they're easy to set, but they sure don't produce a coon quite as well as a good old coyote trap. So, this is kind of nice though. A couple more while pulling. It's always fun to catch something when you're pulling. Sad day. Not sure what happened to this guy. He's got blood on his chin there from something. Well, if he got shot prior to getting in the trap, or what the deal is. Alright, we'll see you guys down the line.